Hi, I'm Robin Higgins, and this is Similarities in Ions and Atoms. Okay, so let's define what an ion or an atom is. Well, an atom is basically the smallest building block for our molecules, uh, and one rule is that they have protons, number of protons equals their number of electrons. And an ion is basically just an atom that doesn't have the same number of protons as electrons. And because a proton has a charge of positive one, and an electron has a charge of negative one, a neutral is nothing, neutron is nothing, uh, then it means that if you don't have the same number of each one, you're going to have an overall charge. So let's take a look at three different atoms and see if it's actually an ion or it's just a neutral atom. So first we have this. Our protons, we have one, two, three, positive three. Our electrons, we have one, two, three, negative three. So our overall charge is zero. So we have an atom. Now over here, protons, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it has a charge of positive eight. And electrons, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, so negative ten. So our overall charge is negative two. This is definitely an ion. And lastly, let's see what's over here. Protons, one, two, three, four, five, six. Electrons, one, two, three, four, five. We just have an overall charge of plus one, so it's also an ion. Now, when an ion's negative, we call it an anion. When an ion's positive, we call it a cation. Um, and so, just for reference, since this had three protons, it's a lithium atom. This had eight protons, so it's an oxygen ion, and an oxygen anion at that. And this had six protons, so it's a carbon ion, and it's a carbon cation, which we can also call carbocation. It has a nickname. I'm Robin Higgins, and this has been Similarities in Ions and Atoms.